Oh yeah. Mining. The most exciting thing you can do in any game. Why am I playing this again? Oh yeah, right, because I needed a break from Minecraft. <laughs> uh, huh? So one of the uh, things we figured out, if you, you figured this out kind of early on, is that you wind up, because you need so much stone, you go underground, because that's the stone's all underground. Uh, normally, I don't run into gigantic everywhere veins of ore right off the start, though. I wasn't expecting this. I was hoping for a whole bunch of stone to make stuff, and instead I ran into all of this. None of which is going to get processed anytime soon. Uh, in order, it's been a couple days for you. Uh, this is the next night from when I started. Our next step towards anything is 38 points. I haven't done much in the way of uh, <laughs> in the way of learning stuff. However, I did do a whole lot of research. Right, so open to us tailoring, and oh, I haven't got that yet. Basic engineering, ah, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Advanced cooking, yeah, I could work on that. Um, we've got. Mining there, I thought I, I could have swore I researched glass working. Did I not read the book? Yes, this is the giant hole in the ground I'm digging. This is all the ore I've had to move out of the way. If it was just stone, that'd be great, because i got stone going on over here. Do I ever have stone? Also have some really chintzy buildings. So over here at the hole in the wall, you might be able to hear that. Turn it way up. There's a lot of noise in here. Uh, masonry tables cost nothing. This guy has been turning stone into stand, and this guy has been doing the same, and this guy has been making it all into pitch. You see that number right there? <laughs> That's half of what it used to be. There's half of... Yeah, I've got a lot of pitch. Uh, once you have enough of the efficiencies, it's like two stone to make a bunch more than that sand. And then you get a whole bunch of pitch out of every sand. And you just sit here and make mortared stone. I queued this up. This is a 10 hour job. Okay? It's five minutes. I'm pointing at my screen with my own hand. You can't tell this. Okay? It's five minutes to turn sand, stone into sand. I queued up an awful lot of that. Two 10 hour jobs, which are going to pay out great once they're done. But tomorrow, when I'm at work. <laughs> Yeah, this is literally a game. It's like, okay, I'll just turn it on and let it run all night. Uh, if it wasn't... If you could play it offline, that'd be okay. I do feel a little odd leaving my computer attached to the internet all night, but I'm not running any file sharing, so I think I'm safe. So fishery. Built a farming table. We can't build crap with it yet, because I haven't learned that. Ah, I could have swore. Paper milling. Fishery. Glass working. Okay, there. Odd. Oh, I get points from that. I get points from that? Shot up in points. Uh, I can remember how this. Eh. What's the chat say here? Charred fish project got finished. Oh, okay, I got. I queued up a big pile of charred fish. Researched, good farming, advanced cooking, a whole bunch of stuff I can't do yet. Butchery, butchery I'm doing because you need butchery to take, you need butchery to get the materials for tailoring uh, in here. So butchery you need two rabbits, two elk. That second rabbit, I got real lucky and snagged that second rabbit because you need 
for tailoring, you need fur pelts, leather hides, and a bunch of that. Uh, it's, there's a definite progression, right? If you're doing one thing, you might as well go into the next. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be tailoring. Because one of the ways this... The newer things, uh, since the last time I played with a bunch of people. So on the lower left-hand side, you see there's a zero, a plus zero next to a house. Okay. Um, once you build a house, you will get more points per day, depending on how nice your house is. It all works on uh, claim chunks. So we're going to have to, in order to get more points per day, instead of taking all this one, I, I want to get into like, brick laying, because I like the look of brick. <sighs> For the long term, we're going to need to take tailoring. And we're going to take cloth making, so I can make things like rugs, which are actually worth a lot once you get them into a house. Uh, there's, you see all the neat stuff there. The uh, the bison mount. You take a bison and it sticks it in a fence thing. No, I don't want a wall. That's right. It goes up on a wall, and it's huge. I thought it was big until the elk. The elk is goddamn immense. I don't know how they expect you'd have it fit inside a house. But we need this to get cloth. Uh, I'm not too worried about speed right now. Or efficiency. I don't have the points for that. So let's get us... Can I get to a medium rug? Okay, that's good. At the very least, I can start making cloth. I'm not making a lot of cloth. What do I need to make rugs? A small rug. A medium rug is... According to Reddit, the medium rug is easy. it's two by two. So if I go with what do I need? I need ten cloth and five cellulose fiber. Cellulose fiber. You're not looking at the right chest. You can have that one for some reason. There, that's better. Cellulose fiber. I need five cellulose fiber. That's per room. You have a... I've got all the parts around here somewhere. The basic... The four room types. Okay. There's a... Bathroom. Your little wooden squatty potty. Ice box. You can also use a, uh, a butcher table. The kitchen. Uh, straw bed for a bedroom. And then these guys here for a general room. And down here, if you have it all portioned out for, you know, 25 by, in quarters, perfectly, kind of like the food thing, you will get the most balanced amount of points. But then they're all worth a whole bunch more depending on what you cram in them. So, oh, wrong house. Over here in the butcher's area. Where you can turn dead aminals into food. I'm not going to do any of that. I did a little bit of that. I don't have any of the meat prep stuff yet. I can't make sausage. Other yummy things. I'm going to need... 20 of them. Missing 300. Well, okay, that was a little more expensive than I thought it was going to be. There's got to be a bunch of that around here. It has to be. I'm positive I left a bunch of that laying around somewhere. I'll have to go and get that. And we're also going to need 40 of those, which is another... Well, let's just go get 800. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back once I've gone up here and uh, effectively shaved the entire world bald. Getting plant fibers three at a time. See you again sometime next year. Okay, that only took forever. Dun, dun, and dun, and load. And done. Still needs. I mean, still need 70. I just fed you 700. How do you still need plant fibers? 
It's only uh, one, two. Okay, my math was wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna load just load that up. Wow, it's gonna hour and twenty. It's gonna take a while. Still needs stuff. Uh. Guys, you notice that my scythe is red. So technically, it's broken. I still use it. But you notice how it costs a lot of calories for every swing. That's why I keep your stuff in good repair. Unfortunately, this was the free one I got through a skill. I uh, will not have iron for quite a while. We're going to be retiring this thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, we can make another one. It's not going to be as... The durability won't be as good. Nothing really affects the speed. Stone. Stone. Do that. And so I'm not carrying this thing around. Where's my... Ooh, i got to get rid of all these too, don't I? They're all going to turn into cellulose fibers. To get into my inventory. There, and I'll go pick the other guy up. Afterwards. Yes, you needed a oh, wrong house. You know, I made the the tailor shop a different color so that wouldn't happen. Do you need any of these? Nope. Okay, well, let's load all those up. You can just uh, click them into a chest that I haven't opened it up. Which sometimes is a lot faster because every time you open it up, it's got to look for every inventory in the area. There's. I was looking for those. Knew they were out here somewhere. Right, so the next bit is we're going to need a house to store all this stuff in. What do you want for... You don't tell me. You can put multiple things in a room, but they're, they're worth not worth as much. Lots of chairs. A couple of beds. Tell you what, let's see, what do you need? Do you want requirements? Placed on solid ground. Doesn't help me. Where's my hammer? Because you always beat your hammer, beat your bed with a hammer to pick it up. So somewhere around here I gotta build a house. Where am I gonna build it? Okay, picked a spot. We're going to build our house upon the sand. Um, I'm fairly certain there's some passage somewhere in a book that tells you not to do that. But what have I ever listened to things? I want this place to be about about four high. Uh, ideally, you can cram a rug and two other things into a three by three room. I'm not interested in making a three by three room. I'm gonna make a bunch of five by fives. Because otherwise this place is gonna look just is gonna be incredibly cramped. Right? It's gonna be three, four, five. You've got lots of room to build here. You don't need to skimp. Well, we'll be skimping on materials because all we've got, <laughs> all we've got is stone brick. <laughs> we have a lot of it, but it's all we've got. Okay, it's a house. It's a giant blob of gray. I've tried to do a bit with it, but it's a giant blob of gray. Now, none of this was going to count as property until I take this thing, which came in. Uh, Place it. Eh. <laughs> Never been really good at this. Well, that's why. I'm in the wrong button. No, I don't want that up. Urgh. I screwed something up here. Place this. I don't want... Urgh. hit the wrong button and now it's saying public. There we are. 
And this is one of the reasons I don't claim a lot of property on a server. <laughs> one click and done. Okay, clunk. It's all going to count as you can see down in the corner the blue on blue KNW Glen. Clunk. We're claiming this is our own territory. Uh, we can also decide what things people are allowed to do here. No one will be doing anything because we're going to be alone. Completely alone. Forever alone. Okay, so all the way here at the back. I'm gonna put because the last yeah, you don't want to sit here. We could put our squatty potty right here and look outside, but I don't think that's really classy. Put it back here in the corner. That provides two points per day. Put our bed here. Nope. Because for some reason that just can't line up, can it? We need a ice box. Here in the kitchen. And then we want... This is going to throw everything right out of whack because it's going to decide it's a... I uh, don't oh there we are. Duh. Ah, it's not perfect. God damn it. Ah, but it's an extra seven points a day, which might not seem like much, but as we get more things, like whenever those rugs get finished, this house will get worth more and more, until the point comes where we can't, uh, we get the things, yeah, used up a whole, whole thing of stone. You know, it gets to the point where we get into, uh, higher tier stuff. You're making cloth forever, aren't you? So stuff like this padded chair, it's a type two. It's gonna want better. Uh, <clears throat> how to word this? The materials used to build our house, if they're not high enough for the stuff we put in the house, the value of the house will be soft capped, and we won't get as much. If that makes any sense to you, like when we come to things like. You know, we build a padded chair, or the big rug, or uh, right there, the washboard, or the bison mount. <laughs> the, the giant things, right? Like all this kind of stuff. Uh, it has to go into a house of better quality than we've just constructed. With better materials. Which is why I want to get onto things like brick. I'd love to get onto lumber, unfortunately. But lumber's quite a ways down the road right now. Like, we need to, we need to smelt iron before we can make lumber. We need to, be able to make bricks before we can smelt iron. We need it to be able to make cloth before we can smelt, make bricks. It's a big, long-ass chain of stuff. <laughs> I want to, and then as we, you know, like, we're not going to tear this down, right? Like, once we get into a higher material of stuff, uh, we'll just unclaim all of this and build another house to get yeah like I'll, I'll change the windows out so these aren't isn't a giant ball of gray at some point maybe I'll put a, a slope roof on it or something and uh, and a door several doors actually and then once we get into brick and lumber we'll build a whole second house somewhere else and then we get into uh, what's the third tier material? What comes after brick and lumber? Concrete and s framed glass are tier four. I don't remember what tier three is. I'll figure it out. We'll also have access to other materials, so the uh, storefronts in town won't look quite so boring. You know, but we're going to be working off a log and more than so for quite a while. But time is time is the essence of this game. It takes a lot of time to do pretty much anything. I will see you guys in the next episode and hopefully I will have somewhat more maybe maybe I'll get into like things like brick in the next episode.
but I will see you then.